How are things over here? Um, we had two soldiers over in the carriages. There's a guy called James that is just, um, when I was walking up through, couldn't breathe. He's told me that he went to the hospital in Ventnor because he had tuberculosis. I couldn't breathe. Then me and Dave's come up here with Carol and Dave's put his beam on. We actually had someone walk, break, and I mean break, like as in a person, from the left coming over to the right and like sort of disappear in the middle. Okay, you, you can't. And then I asked them to come back and they sort of came back into like, I don't know, not that far into the, the side part. We were getting soldiers in the next field as well. There's also a, a, a gun in there, big field gun. Well, he walked along in front of you? Yeah, he's walked from there, straight through to the middle, disappeared. Then I asked him to come back through, so he went from there into this bit here and disappeared. Now I'm asking him to come forward, just walk straight towards him. But then you've got two guys over in the carriage, stuck, stood between the one the carriage you can see here and the next one they're stood in between that gap just watching well, but still... they've all got white tops with their braces and green trousers with their boots and the... are they still watching? yeah they're still there whereabouts here? we're on point in the torch? no right over you can see the carriages near the trees right at the far distance yeah you've got the first set of carriages <coughs> then there's a gap mm. then you've got the second one they're in between the two just stood there watching. What, by the two white bags? No, yeah, over, over near the trees. Oh, OK, on yeah. The, on the far yeah, track. Far oh, tracks. Right. You've got the first the set of carriages, then mm -hmm. a break, and then the next lot of carriages. They're stood between the two carriages. They're in their 40s, 50s. But okay. James is 20, 25, 26, very young. It's kind of like they've come out to tell him to go back into okay. the tree line and not come over this side and talk to somebody. But because he can't get his breath out, he's, he's really like raspy and the only way he can make himself known here is to put that condition on you. So I feel like someone is actually crushing my chest. I fat, but just going past all these little bits here, I just, I couldn't breathe. I was coughing and wheezing and... Well, this is him doing this to you. <coughs> Watch out, the big fella. <coughs> He's doing this to Pay you. It off, yeah. He's walking with you now, or you're just feeling the energies from no, past. Just, it's the only way he knows. <coughs> <coughs> Had to make himself go. Does it stop in a minute? Josh will take it off. <coughs> you got Josh you with you? Yeah, take it off. Turn it back off. Can you light the lights or something? Something just physical to show us.
just gone. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. What was all that about then? You let out quite a, a kind of groan thing. Oh yeah, he was trying to get in. He was trying to take you over? No, I just put that in. All done? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's going to grab it. <laughs> I didn't need the eyes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But here, there's nicer energies here. Yeah, nice. It doesn't go past there for some reason. It just gets eh? stuck there. He just gets stuck there. Yeah. Well, he's bound to the location. Hmm. We don't want to come this far. Give me like a couple of minutes to get. Hey? I said you're gonna have to give me a couple of minutes, alright. I should have sort of my head. <coughs>